good everybody welcome back to another my name toys video today ladies and gentlemen we have a very exciting video i think this is a great video idea this comes from my man rob rob's pippin road on twitter big follower of the channel really appreciate him he's an absolute boss but he hit me up with this great idea he hit me up and he was like how about doing your best possible mdt roster now in 2021 using all the figures available to you currently from both companies choosing the figures most fun in hand and make for your favorite possible construction talent wise say 30 36 deep. I don't know if I did 36 deep and I didn't get to spend as much time on this as I as I wanted to because I was going out of town and I was kind of on a time crunch but I did I feel like I got a pretty good roster right here and again the rules are as follows like this has no effect on the pick fed this is just complete fantasy booking right here this is complete fantasy making a roster and we are making a roster and constructing an MDT pick fed roster based off of the figures that I think feel the best in hand the ones that I I love to pose around the most and just kind of the feel of the figure if that makes sense so just going off of that basis just how they feel in hand how i like to pose them around all of those different things again i didn't get to spend as much time as i wanted to on it however i think i have a pretty good list here and i'm pretty excited to get into it so let's go ahead and dive in man i don't know how many people are on roster but i'm just going to start with the tag teams and then we'll get into the regular guys and then i'll let you guys crown the champions if you want we're not going to crown all eight i guess you could pick four of your favorite titles so you can pick one set of tag teams two mid card and one main championship between the mdt and elite championship so i don't know just have your fun down in the comment section below using you know the the different methods here but i'm going to go ahead and showcase this roster man and you guys actually let me i don't know should i pull this up i feel like if i pulled it up uh, i don't know let's just put this back here let's dive into this roster man a huge shout out to rob let's get into it starting out first guys with my tag teams now i only i think i went with four or five tag teams you could probably construct some more out of the people left over but i tried to make not too many and it was kind of difficult i'm not gonna lie to you and there's a few that you could probably pair together like i said and make some makeshift tag teams if you will if you wanted to play that card but again i'm making a roster based off of figures that feel really good in the hand and are really fun to pose around and i'm sure i missed some so that sucks but sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do man so starting out first guys i am going with the usos the usos did make the final cut i thought that they were a great tag team not only are they like i tried to, my best not to include star power you know what i'm saying i'm strictly trying to go based off of how good they feel in the hand how fun they are to pose around and i think their figures are really fun to pose around so i included the usos in my tag team division they would still make it i know i use them in the real pick fed but they would can't you know they'd carry over i think they would be a great tag team another tag team that did also carry over from the pick fed guys is going to be the bludgeon brothers slash wyatt colt these guys are really fun to pose around i love luke harper's figure his figure feels phenomenal in the hand if you've posed around with it you know what i'm talking about and eric rowan his regular figure is god awful but using this cane body and everything I, I went ahead and made so this is technically kind of a cane figure kind of fixed up which is kind of I, I don't know if that that plays into it it's kind of a fix up but at the end of the day they're still making it on the thing man they're they're really great figures I like posing those guys around they feel great in the hand and they make for a great tag team next up guys we have a brand new tag team tag team that just sound weird anyways we have the proud and powerful inner circle LAX whatever you want to call them man Santana and Ortiz these figures feel phenomenal phenomenal in the hand like i love the way these feel i wish these guys were in the pick fed i mean don't, never say never you never know what could happen but these guys feel phenomenal in the hand and they're really fun to pose around i mean i haven't sat down and done like a full sequence with them or anything like that but just from their reviews and holding them and posing them around sometimes randomly i do feel that they would do great in a tag team division of a pick fed and i had to add them i feel like they would be really fun and you could do some other stuff with it but they feel really good in the hand so i had to add the proud and powerful another tag team that we have guys is going to be the Young Bucks. I went with the Young Bucks. I really like these figures a lot. They're way better than their Series 1 figures. I know we have the Series 7 coming soon, and I couldn't not have the Young Bucks. I just love the AEW figures and the way they feel. I know they have some loose joints here and there and all of that good stuff. Very good points, no doubt about it. They're not perfect figures by any means, but the Young Bucks had to make my tag team division, and I love the way they feel in hand and the way they pose around. So the Young Bucks also make the tag team division. Next up, this one might shock you. This is a Vindication tag team, but I'm going with Roos day and i know that some people are going to be like you didn't put the miro in there you could interchange this rusev and the miro figure if you wanted to they honestly both are very similar in how they feel they feel really good in the hand they're very poseable this aiden english is undefeated as far as posability i love the way this aiden english feels in the hand as well great posability and i have uh, i have rusev day right there either one it doesn't matter if you go with miro rusev it doesn't matter the figures feel good in the hand and they could uh they'd make my roster for the best feel in hand i think we have one 
more tag team here. They don't have to be a tag team, but I went ahead and put them together. It's kind of an interesting take here, but Kalisto and Rey Mysterio. If you own these, you know how good they are, man. They kind of use the same formula, and they feel phenomenal in the hand. You could do any pose you want with these guys. They uh, they are electric. They have great tag team moves, and yeah, they, I mean, Rey Mysterio feels great in the hand. That's two additions that are not on either roster, and I know that they would fly around, so I went ahead and added them. They could, Again, they could be a tag team. They don't have to be a tag team, but it would be a really fun pickup there. All right, guys, let's get into our main roster of regular guys. This is like our just singles wrestlers that go at it every week and feel great in the hand, and I love to pose them around. Going first, I still have Kenny Omega. I gotta have Kenny Omega. I just love the way this guy looks. I love the way he poses around. He still feels really great in the hand. I will say, again, the AEW figures are not perfect. They do get a little bit loose, but the way this guy feels in the hand, especially when you crack him out of the packaging, I had to add Kenny Omega to the list. I couldn't leave him off. Next up, guys, is going to be Keith Lee. The Elite 82 Keith Lee feels great in the hand as well. You may notice a trend. I feel like every single figure right here has ball joints, if I'm not mistaken. So far, I don't think we have a single ratchet joint in this video, and we're continuing that trend on. The Keith Lee can move around. He can do big things, and he's a, he's a big boss baby, man. He can do good things. He can make some noise, so Keith Lee is on my roster. Moving it on up, guys, I have Cody Rhodes on the list. Great mid-card talent, great main-card talent. Again, he's very similar to the Bucks in, in style and posing because they use the same formula, I'm pretty sure. So since they use the same formula, it's obvious that guys like that are going to make it into the roster, so Cody does make the final cut. Moving on up, ladies and gentlemen, we have the Elite 87 Apollo Crews. Double-jointed arms, fantastic legs, double-jointed, all the stuff. He feels tight. He's got all the great likeness and everything. What's this on his face? Had a little stuff, something not going on there. Didn't like it. Apollo Crews makes the list. He feels great. Next up, guys, we have Buddy Murphy, another guy on ball joints. Great move set, great figure overall, great formula for this guy. Again, those things don't really necessarily play a role, but he just feels so good in the hand, and he's on ball joints. I fed it a whole match with him at Hell's Gate, and I loved it. So, Buddy Murphy makes my list. Next up, guys, we have Andrade, another fantastic underrated figure. Not a lot of people talk about this figure, man, the NXT Andrade. This figure is insane. The formula's perfect. The attire's great, and he's on ball joints. He can pose around. He feels fantastic in the hand. Great head sculpt. Another great one. Moving it on up, ladies and gentlemen, this may be our first ratchet joints. We have John Morrison, and I guess we might as well knock out all of our ratchet joints right here, because I I think we only have maybe, three, maybe four or five, I, I don't know. But you have John Morrison, you have Cedric Alexander, you have Randy Orton, Johnny Gargano, and you have Finn Balor. All these guys feel great in hand. I don't mind these guys posing around for some reason, like even though they're not on ball joints, they don't feel bad to me compared to like, you know, a CM Punk. Like he just doesn't feel good in the hand, man. AJ Styles doesn't really feel good in the hand. Jeff Hardy even just doesn't feel good in the hand. These guys are examples of ratchet joints that I think they do right. So Johnny Gargano, Cedric Alexander, Alexander, John Morrison, Finn Balor, and Randy Orton are all going to make my roster. Edge is another guy that I wanted to put on here, man, but he just did not make the cut because he doesn't feel good in the hand. What do you want me to do? Moving it on up. I don't even know how many of this is. We'll count at the end, but we have the big dog. The MDT champion, Roman Reigns, does make the cut. I mean, just putting him in this custom shorts mold does allow him to make the list. And speaking of those shield legs, Braun Strowman also does make the list. The Elite 87, he's got, you know, he feels very solid, bro. Like, if you own this figure, the ab crunch is phenomenal. The double-jointed arms feel fantastic. The legs move really, really well. The double-jointed knee is awesome. So the Elite 87 Braun is in here. I could not leave him out, man. Just couldn't do it. Could not do it. Couldn't pull myself to do it. So Braun Strowman did make the list. Moving it on up, we also have The Undertaker. This Undertaker figure, I did use this at Hell's Gate for The Undertaker's debut. And I had fun posing him around, man. He's on ball joints. One of those guys that you don't really think about. But The Undertaker is on ball joints. And he kicks him out. We have Kevin Owens. Had to have Kevin Owens. He's on ball joints. I know a lot of people are going to talk about his ab crunch, but he's really fun to pose around to me. He has a fun move set, and when I'm moving him around, he feels great. Like, I don't have any issues with Kevin Owens figures. They feel good in the hand to me. They represent him well, and Kevin Owens is going to make my roster. Speaking of which, we have his My Damn Nation opponent, which is going to be the Beast, the Ultimate Edition, Brock Lesnar. Had to go on the list. What a freaking excellent figure. I wish this was a ball hinge, not just a regular ball joint, but one of those figures that I love just picking up and posing around. I'll just pick this guy up and pose him around for no freaking reason at all. He's just one of those guys. And another one of those guys is going to be the Ultimate Edition Ronda Rousey. Now, I don't have any other women's figures in this thing. I probably could have picked some, but I feel like Ronda, I don't have any women's championships is the only reason.
reason I didn't, but I feel like Ronda could walk up in there and beat the hell out of the men, too. So I, I included Ronda Rousey. I could not exclude the Ronda. You guys know how I feel about that figure. It's phenomenal. Next up, guys, we have the Short Shorts John Cena Elite main event scene getting man manly packed, man. We got a lot of talent going around, but John Cena and the Short Shorts had to make the list. You guys know how I feel about those. We have AEW Unrivaled Darby Allen, one of those figures that is so poseable, just feels so great. Like, I would love to fed a freaking match with Darby Allen and Brock Lesnar, or Darby Allen and the Extreme Champion Kevin Owens, man. I would love nothing more than to fed one of those matchups. Never say never. You never know what's going on, but Darby Allen's one of those guys I can't wait to fed with. Another guy I love to fed with is Dolph Ziggler. Ball joints, great formula. Looks fantastic. Like, dude, the ball joints just, he's one of those guys that, like, his ball joint doesn't get loose either. A lot of times you have to worry about the figures, like, ball joints getting, like, loose and rusty. Not this guy, man. He is always on the, on time. He's doing his business, and Dolph Ziggler is on there. And then rounding out our last few, man, we have Adam Cole, baby. Another guy that I love to use, man. One of my favorites to use on all of Vindication. Just a really fun talent to use. Really fun move set. He's on ball joints, especially, like, you could put the William Regal or the Bo Dallas legs, or you could leave him with his tiny legs, and he still moves around great. He's not stiffy-liffy. He feels great. I love Adam Cole. And then the last figure that I believe we have before we count it up, guys, is going to be Seth freaking Rollins. You guys already knew this. My favorite figures to collect are Seth Rollins because he's so poseable and playable. I love Seth Rollins, and I had to include him on my roster when making this. Really great roster, and it's obviously, it's kind of, besides a few, there's a ton, it's kind of like a mixture of the Vindication and MDT rosters, and I didn't really take that into consideration. I tried to just base it off the figures I love to film with and pose with and play around with, and this was the things that I came up with. There were some figures that it sucked to leave off, but they just don't feel that great in the hand. Jeff Hardy's one of those guys. AJ Styles is one of those guys. I think RVD figures aren't very poseable either. Hopefully his new one is going to be great, but let me count this up real quick. I want to say this is 35 or 36. I, I can't remember the exact number there, but I did my best to narrow that down and give you guys my best roster that I could possibly come up, that I could possibly come up with using the figures that I love to pose around the most and the ones that feel the best in the hand. Again, probably some that missed out, but I tried to go with my top 36 as far as a pick fed roster is concerned, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. But a huge shout out, the random shout out is going to go to my man Rob because he came up with the video idea, so it just makes the most sense, guys. But thank you guys so very much for watching. Crown your champions, man. Again, pick your belts and crown your champions down in the comment section below. You got the MDT Championship, Elite Championship, United States Championship, Extreme Championship, MDT World Tag Titles, MDT Tag Titles, Iron Man Championship, and Revolutionary Championship. Let me know who your champs would be, maybe any possible feuds down in the comment section. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Name Toys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Don't cross the line like every figure that doesn't feel good in the hand. You cross